What's up guys, Grizzly Wizard here, coming back for another reaction to The Legend of Vox Machina. Season 3, Episode 3. We're going to hell, uh, literally, in fact. And I'm pretty excited to see what it's going to look like. Without further ado, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, it's alright. They cannot hurt you. I will not let them. Yes. Vox Machina has proven more elusive, but I will discover their location. I assure you. I seek bloodshed, not assurance. If she cannot find them, I can. Okay. Are you withholding something? You're the one withholding my cure. That stone in your chest makes you paranoid. You dare mock my power? So he still hasn't given her the cure for the curse. Anyone who delivers Vox Machina will get my shards. Share of our empire. And best find them first. Damn. Two days. That's not a lot of time. Soon, my children. Very soon. The corpses of our enemies shall be your cradles. Yeah, it's interesting to see Thordok being, like, very caring and gentle with the baby eggs. Like, pouring a little bit of lava on them delicately. Like, it's kind of sweet. In a, a scary way. <laughs> Ripley. She gets to be in the opening this time. I like that the uh, that they've updated it to incorporate all the vestiges because those are like the main upgrades that each of the characters has gotten as this campaign has gone on and on. The evil spinning ball thing, isn't that what uh, the Blackwoods were using? Lady Blackwood. Briarwood, sorry. Whatever. The villains of season one, isn't that what she what she used? What she communed with? Bullseye. That's quite the omen. Actually, it's supposed to mean good luck. Okay, birds shitting on you is not good luck. That is something that you tell someone who's just been shit on by a bird so they'll feel better. Are we seriously considering going? What do you mean? You, you have to go to hell. Okay, even if we go, how would we get there? Actually, we know a way. An old ally of ours. Wait, who are these two? Ooh, keep it with the hot guy. Spill it, girl. Our former adventuring companion was just named to the Draconian Assembly. They guard a hidden rift to the Hells. Isn't Draconia a frigid floating wasteland? And our companion was so pissed at me she moved there. That's weird. I would think Draconia would be a fiery place. Sounds like dragon, you know? I don't love leaving Whitestone unprotected. Oh, look on the bright side, darling. Fewer birds in the snow. <laughs> yeah, you'll get shit on less. The ranks of the Pale Guard are up to pre-Briarwood levels. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. In fact, while you're gone, perhaps I'll cut down the sun tree and build an extravagant canoe. Right. Sounds lovely. <laughs> He's fully not paying attention. Everything all right? Uh, uh, we were just discussing, um... Uh... Canoes. <laughs> you're smitten. So what if I am? It's not like I can act on it. Why not, though? This code. When one invites you to her room, you go. <laughs> Good job, Cassandra. Way to be, way to be a wingman. I have developed a sort of affection for you, and uh, and. Okay, well, whatever you do, don't say that. <laughs> uh, it's Percival. I was hoping. Whoa. Chat. Would you like to talk before or after? What brought this on? Hi. Oh, um, yeah, come in. I was just, you know. Uh, right, I'll just, um, sit. These are some decent-sized rooms they've got. Uh, I forgive you. We can't you. be together. <clears throat> we kissed. I know, but it can't work, you and I. The matron, again. It's not just her. You're Aramente. When you complete it... You think I don't know? Becoming the voice of the Tempest is a responsibility that lasts for centuries. Well, not just that, but once you complete it, they'll all be dead. So, joy today isn't worth pain tomorrow? You won't risk anything for me. That's not true. It kinda is true, though. Maybe you should leave. If you had seen what I have... Just get out! Come on, dude, you opened with, we shouldn't be together. <laughs> it was never gonna go well. Kiki, please! <gasps> yeah, poor Keyleth. I feel bad for her. Kinda saw this coming, though. Like, this... It was never gonna work. 
Good talk. Okay. Okay. New song? Something like that. You ever get the chance to tell someone how you feel and you, you just kind of chicken out? Man, this is just going to be a feelings episode, isn't it? I'm here. Oh, don't take that the wrong way. Whoa! Not yeah. what I meant. <laughs> Awkward. Shit, shit. I, I, I thought... Oh. That was dramatically awkward. Like, why? I'm sorry. I mean, Scanlan's going through some stuff, and Pike is Pike is smart enough to know that, and she's not going to take that the wrong way. She's she's more insightful than that. She's not like, oh, that's Scanlan being Scanlan. She's going to realize something's wrong and that he needs help. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not I, I need to. Oh <laughs> man. So so draconia. draconia. Right. right. <laughs> yep. There yes. you go. There you go. That's the best move. Good for Percy. He just had sex for like the first time in his life. Where do you think you're going? Oh, yikes, Jared. Okay, first off, you really have to stop doing that. Yeah, we need to we need to let on some ground rules about the changing here. <laughs> you have two days, not a minute more. They have two days because she has two days. I mean, yes, she is aiding them. I still don't trust her. Welcome to Draconia. Hope you brought mittens. Cool. I love me a good frozen wasteland. So, your friend. Don't let her hear you call her that. Oh yeah? It's like that. Let's just say, being in dangerous situations with someone you're close to can lead to friction. She means the Vax and Keyleth kind of friction, not the Percy and Vex kind of friction. Allura! Dola! Good to see you. And Kima the Mighty, Kima the Brave. She's cool. I like her design. If the Despath Gateway can help, the Draconian people are more than willing to share it. It's a bit of a trek. <laughs> How far could it be? Oh, probably pretty far. Whoa. Oh, that's cool, though. <sighs> oh, you okay? I have to be. Come on, dude. Don't make it worse. Sorry, this is what? Nice. No one guards this gateway? It's well hidden. I mean, it's just a big old rock. Who would know to look there? So does the passageway just lead directly down to hell? It takes more than one to open the gateway, and it can only be done from this side. Oh, it's a portal. Duh. Kima and I will remain. Me too. You'll need a lookout. Um, I should stay as well. If you think you'll help. Oh, she's not into it anymore. We'll reopen it in exactly 12 hours. 12? But I ain't got enough fingers. Anybody got 12 fingers? <laughs> Here we go. Good luck, Vox Machina. Bye. Oh, cool. I love all the floating, like, tethered pieces of rock, just like, it's very Roger Dean. This, the capital of hell. Ah, uh, this, a rock. This is the city you guys were supposed to get to as well for the vestige, so like, right on target. I was just playing along. What? No. This is a city. Poor Grok. And this is a rock. <laughs> Are those souls? Uh, yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Horrifying. The evil of our world. Sent here for punishment. This is cool. I got a safety. I was a little nervous after how we left things. Kimo, we're adults. There were crushes, but we had a job to do. In all these years, I haven't given it a single thought. I love it. It's like the opposite of the group dynamic in Vox Machina, you know? A much more a mature approach. Unless she's lying and she's actually super, like, grudgeful about it. I think I'll fix some tea. That's it? End of conversation? Yeah, nah, dude, you don't want to push it right now. You're in a dangerous place, and you don't even know it. Call it a mistake. Call it whatever you want. I want to know what you want, unless you're too scared to say it. Uh, I 
am not scared. I'm... Vex. Oh, God. Here we go. Yes, one. Orgo will gladly hunt you down. Makes sense we'd fight the, the ice dragon in the snowy environment, right? Oh! You two okay? What the hell? You'll hear us. I'm checking on the others. Something you should be doing. She was pretty sharp with her there. I feel like there is some lingering resentment. She wasn't being straight up about it. We're better off crossing to that peak. Seems rather in the open. But you're the local. Lead the way. Yeah, you, it doesn't feel terribly protected against the dragon attack, but... You're taking us further from the gateway. We need to be back to reopen it for our friends. As if you care. The fuck? Forgive me. Yeah, here it is. But you have a history of leaving allies in the dust. I was right beside you when we defeated Thordek. I love it when they do that. They show us a shot we've seen before, but like add another character just off to the side there. Dola, I didn't know you wanted to be on the council. We assumed you were happy. I'm sorry. We both are. That's nice to hear, but a bit too late. She's clearly leading you guys into a trap. Why are you... <sighs> Draconia never abandoned me, and I will not abandon them. Honestly, it's good for, for Vex and Percy to see this, because this is kind of giving them a cautionary tale about what can happen about their, you know, in-the-group romance. What in the obelisk? A oh! Bacon. You sentenced us to death! Not us. You. They've promised Damn. me the power you stole. It's like that. Ooh! <laughs> Blinded by love again! Alright, let's go. Cake her draconic ass. How do we shut this thing off? Can, can you break it? He's coming. I hope he kills you first, so Kima can watch you die. You bitch. Perhaps we can table this discussion? No, we really don't have the time. That way! The ones you want are that way! Ooh, God! That was close. I'm very impressed that Kima can run as fast as everybody else. It's like the whole dwarf movement thing isn't a thing here. Alora, can you form one of those shields beneath us? He's taking all the bridges. Oh, my oh we're going surfing? Yes. No, that's pretty smart, actually. He's right behind us. Let's go faster. Nice steer, babe. I was gonna say, I'm impressed that you can even steer on that thing. Oh, jeez. Oh! No! What? I don't think Kima's dead, but they're definitely separated now. Come on, you overgrown idiot! You should have finished them by now! Oh, you can't talk like that to a dragon. I want to see blood! Do you? Don't! That was a very dumb mistake. Like, why would you speak to a dragon that way? One that's on your side. <laughs> Just me. Good. I'll go find your friend. Vex. Oh, thank goodness we're together. Percy. About earlier. Really not the time, but we need Percy to focus, so I guess rip the band-aid off. Let's go. We can't be more than just a fling. Is that all right? Hmm. As you like. There's no way out. And Kima, she's... She's alive, Alora. She's out there somewhere and she will be fine. She can survive in the cold. Right now, our friends are trying to find a vestige in the worst place imaginable. <laughs> oh, God. But I know they'll be okay. Because I know their hearts. Damn, the Everlight can't even shine down here. They're so deep in hell. 
The swirling souls up there look so cool. We have to believe it's going to be all right. What is that? And if it isn't, then nothing matters. <sighs> Come on, don't end there. We finally got to the good stuff. Okay, we are in hell, and it looks awesome, first of all. Um, the visual design, all the skulls and the swirling souls and just and monstrous massive things that we haven't even fully seen what they are yet. We got to see hell, and that's awesome. And I saw more of Percy and Vex than I ever wanted to see. <laughs> and that is what it is. No, this was a good episode. This was this was good. I feel like we fully set up what the hook is. I don't know how long we're actually gonna spend in hell. The trailer kind of made it seem like we would be spending the whole season, like this is a hell adventure. But we don't even have the full party in hell. Half of them are still back in Draconia trying to survive and like hold out long enough for the rest of them to retrieve the vestige. And also Dola, I, I don't know what that was about. I don't like, yes, it was supposed to be a cautionary tale to show why like Percy and Vex might want to think twice and like the whole relationship badness from back in the day. But like the way that they took her out, like did she just roll a one, I guess? Like why would you talk smack to a dragon that's on your side? that like doesn't need you alive come on man <laughs> no dragon is gonna stand for that like whether he's high up the food chain or not you're gonna get squashed that was a little bit of silliness but other than that really enjoying this season so far this was a solid episode um and now that's the end of the triple episode premiere so i'm gonna have to wait a whole week just like everybody else for the next episode this is a new experience for me because i watched both of the previous seasons long after they'd finished airing um so it's kind of fun, you know, getting to wait and speculate with everyone else over the coming week about what's going to happen in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Leave me a comment with your thoughts and your theories what's going to happen this season. Um, I suppose some of you already know, right? Because Critical Role kind of mapped this out and we're catching up to there, I think. Um, yeah, give me some clarification on that in the comments, too. Like, do you know more than a show watcher if you've seen Critical Role at this point? Because I'm sure at some point we're going to catch up and kind of diverge from that story. Plus, I'm sure they make some changes, right, to keep it at least somewhat fresh and interesting. As someone who's never watched Critical Role, I'd love to know more about the breakdown there. Um, but thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Legend of Vox Machina, Season 3, Episode 3. Um, this reaction has been edited to comply with fair use, which means you're not getting my full reaction here on YouTube. Um, it's been trimmed down to about 10 minutes. If you want to watch the full-length, uncut version of this reaction, it's available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one.